this one point perspective video will be mostly how to put a pointed roof on a house so like just in case you don't want to do like the typical city skyline buildings so I'm starting with the portion of the house that's facing me which will be like a square or a rectangle I'm doing my two lines that go to my vanishing point adding in the parallel line to finish it and erasing the lines that I don't need notice that I have not done the top of the box yet now I'm going to darken up the sides so you can kind of see what I'm doing and then I'm going to connect to the corners on the slanted side with an X it's kind of light because I want to erase it straight up from the X I'm going to draw a line and then somewhere on that line that goes up from the X is where the point of my roof needs to be to do the rest this line is going to be parallel with my house and then parallel with the other side of my roof. I've added a bit of an overhang, so I'm going to erase the little bit of the box that gets covered up. And then I'm going to erase those guidelines that I used to make my roof. Next I can add in my details. So if I do a door on this slanted side, remember my two sides are going to be parallel with my building and the top is going to go towards my vanishing point. If I put a frame on it, the same rules apply. If I do a window, the sides of the window will be parallel and the top and bottom come from my vanishing point. Same thing if I do a frame around that. If I put the window panes in, one will be parallel with my sides and the one needs to come from my vanishing point. If I do any details on the side of the building that are that's facing me, they are just going to be parallel with the top and bottom and two sides of my building. I can add in some shine lines on my windows so that I know that they're windows. When I color this in, this part would be like stay white or be like a different color than the windows. I'm going to add in some bushes to give my building some character and then I'm going to put in a sidewalk. So coming straight out from the door, it's just going to go parallel with the top and bottom of my building or parallel with my horizon line. And then the part that it runs into that's usually next to the road is going to come from my vanishing point. When I add the cracks of the sidewalk, I'm going to remember that closer to me is going to be larger and it's going to get smaller. The lines are going to get close together as it goes farther away. shingles I'm going to put a set of parallel lines all the way from the top down to the bottom and then put parallel lines with the sides staggering them kind of like I'm doing bricks <laughs> 